Hello there. My name is Kay Byfield, and this is your Art Speak Studio moment from Art Speak Studio in Dallas, Texas. Today I'm going to talk about the process of creating a watercolor painting in the traditional way, using the transparency of the paint and no opaque paint. In conjunction with uh, an art show here at Goldmark Cultural Center here in, in Dallas, Texas, I was asked to create some information and have some student work put up to extend the understanding of the visitors to the show. So I created this um, piece that we're going to use to show the steps for watercolor painting. This is not what every artist does, but an awful lot of them do some approach that is similar to this process I'm going to show you today. The first step in creating um, a painting is to come up with your reference material. And so this is a photograph that I've enlarged and it is a photograph of some flowers that I took at the local garden center. And the reason I selected this photograph was because I love these shapes. I love the shapes of the white petals. I, I positioned these very carefully so that the focal point would be right here in the center where you have the complements, the purple and the yellow, yellow stamens and pistils. And we could create an image that would be very interesting. So once I've selected the photograph and I've composed it in a way that I think could make a pleasing painting, then I do a drawing of it. And after I've done the drawing, I create a value study. So here's the value study. It's a little bit washed out in the camera, but here's the value study of that photograph that I just showed you. And it's very much like the original photograph, um, but it removes all the color and everything is done in light and dark. And as you will see here, you it, it's charming, this, this image is charming even without any color at all. And it works in dark and light. So this is a value study in four values. There's white, a light midtone, a dark midtone, and a dark. And there's very few darks here. The biggest contrast is right here at the focal point um, with a little bit of dark in the others. In the actual foliage, I just kind of went with the flow. I didn't worry about what the foliage looked like in the photograph. So the way I conceived of this working is that I did my, I enlarged my drawing on the size of watercolor paper that I intended to frame as though this were going to be a real painting. And then I set this up so that there were strips. And the, the first strip is just the drawing on white paper. The second strip shows the first step. And I did that over the whole surface, just as though I were going to do a finished painting. From here up, everything looked like this. And this was my first light midtone. So my lights, because the flowers are white, is the white of the paper. The light midtones are in that first strip. In the second strip, I put in a little bit darker midtones. And you can see that it's starting to pull some of the imagery out. But even just in that first strip, you can already get the sense that this is flower against uh, foliage. By the fourth strip, I'm getting into my midtones, and we're beginning to see the form evolve and the flower petals are starting to fold. We're beginning to pick out some of the shapes in the foliage. 
um, in the fifth strip, we're getting much darker. We're beginning to really see this flower form in terms of the form of it. And the last strip is just final adjustment adding a few darks, darkening a few of the mid-tones so that they're a little bit darker, so that everything looks like it's flowing a bit more. And this would be the way I would do the whole painting if this was intended to be a finished piece. Once the colors and the darks and lights are balanced, then I consider the piece finished. I cut a mat. I put it in a frame and off we go. Please note that in this particular piece, by going to the top to put in the darks at the top, where I really would want the darks would be here in my predetermined focal point where the, the greatest contrast would be and also my most interesting subject matter. This little model that I did makes the process look really simple and that's deceptive learning how to do this takes a long time um, just ask anyone who has taken up watercolor the rewards however are that when you change your thinking and you begin to learn to manipulate the water and the paints and mix colors it's so much fun and when you make something that you never imagined, then it's really fun. You can express yourself in entirely new ways. You have a whole new language to learn in art and it makes life better. So I hope this is helpful and interesting to you and that you will join us again in a few future Art Speak Studio moments. And in the meantime, happy painting.